Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder Borg, the HMS Repulse in its 1941 configuration, and this is the last of the big additions in the latest update. And honestly, I really can't decide which one's the worst. We have the issue with the HMS Dunkirk, where it doesn't have proper AP, and also where uh, the turrets get knocked out quickly while you lose your ammunition, even though it's not an ammunition explosion. We have the Italian Francesco Caracciolo, where I really love the name, but uh, that it only has this mediocre sap is just killing it. And then we have here for the British the HMS Repulse. So this ship makes sense and makes no sense. First of all, it makes no sense that it has a lower battle rating of 6.7 compared to its sister ship of 7.0 in the British tech tree. Uh, um, the HMS Renown is a bit fast, has a bit more AA, is in its 1941 conf 44 configuration. But other than this, I don't see how this warrants a higher battle rating. It makes sense that the battle rating is lower than the HMS Hood and on paper it makes sense that it has a higher battle rating than the HMS Queen Mary which has 8 13.5 uh, inch guns at 6.3. But if I'm honest I say the ship would be so tragically bad even at 6.3 or even at 6.0 because of the dispersion pattern and this is really what kills the ship now at the start i show you some cherry picked uh, shots where the shells actually go where i aim they penetrate and do the appropriate damage and then the ship is fine it feels like a sniper but this is like one every 20 salvos or so and when it happens like two or three times in a row oh my god does it make for good clips but I would absolute bullshit you if I'd say that this is the average performance because it's not. And I had a bad weekend health-wise and I barely could play the ship, but playing the ship would have not made it better. <laughs> let's, let's put it that way. Um, first of all, I like the look of the ships. I like the camo pattern. I like that now we have the three big British 15-inch battlecruisers, HMS Renown, HMS Repulse, and HMS Hood. But the HMS Repulse, I mean, it's been a while since I played the HMS Renown, the HMS Hood, but the HMS Repulse, my god, this is a bad experience. Let's go over the basics before I just um, complain too much. So uh, we have six 15-inch or 381mm BL Mark I cannons uh, with 720 rounds between them. We have a 30 second reload. The turret traverse is astronomically slow with only 2 degrees per second. So that means a 180 uh, is 90 seconds. So switching side, nah, -uh. you have to decide from the get go where you want to go or you have to play a long battle. And if you lose one turret, the DPM is even lower. And that DPM isn't really good to begin with. It is literally half of what some premium battleships have. And even though they have worse guns, worse ammunition, they do so much better. Okay, let's go to the ammunition. Your stock round is the 15 inch 4 CRH CPC, and it has a low mass velocity of 752 meters per second. The explosive mass isn't too bad with uh, 58.6 kilograms, but it's not really there with the big hitters like the Bayern um, or uh, the Japanese 14 inch guns uh, with SAP, where they have 68, 69 kilograms of TNT respectively. But it's not bad. Um, and we have a respectable penetration at 10 kilometers of 377 millimeters. That should still tear all sorts of cruises apart if you hit. Then there is the 15 inch 4 CRH Mark 12A APC, which is your APCBC round. You get it at tier 1, and it has also this low muscle velocity of 752 meters per second, but features a whopping 20.68 kilograms of TNT. That's not as much as um, the uh, faulty shells at Shutland that the HMS Barham features with 30 kilograms of TNT. Um, but therefore you get enhanced penetration of up to 470 millimeters at 10 kilometers. That ain't bad. 
Um, I'm not mentioning here the torpedoes or the secondaries because our both are not really important and just are not there in numbers nor in usability to make any sort of difference. So your main guns are it. So you can punch through most of the armor that you face even at distance and do a lot of damage if you hit and it's the the dispersion pattern that is really that absolutely kills those guns and the lack of dpm it's it's probably a combination of the both i'll come to this in just a moment the ship is also slower than its sister ship with 53 kilometers per hour compared to the hms renown which sits at 70 and has 57 kilometers per hour top speed also the hms hood ha uh, has this top speed um, and so you're just marginally faster than the HMS Queen Mary. Um, then we come to the armor and well this might actually be penetratable for a lot of heavy cruisers. We have 228.6 millimeters or 9 inches of maximum thickness belt armor uh, at the waterline. Um, upper belt is uh, 6 inches or 152 millimeters. The barbettes are 177.8 millimeters, which I think is 7 inches. And the turret faces are 228 millimeters, which is again 9 inches. We have a distributed armor scheme. Um, there are literal gaps in the armor plating. Um, above the magazine, it's 95.25 millimeters, which is not too bad. Um, yeah, and that's it. The AA of the ship is not really that great. Yeah, you have those fancy quad 40 millimeters, but only three of them. Um, some 20 millimeters, some heavy machine guns. You have no radar, you have no proxy fuse. So the ship is just focused on the big guns. And I'd respect this if it would be worth it. So here is now my counter example. I was really questioning if I am really capable of still aiming properly. And uh, then I played a couple of battles in the HMS Iron Duke, which has 10 13 and a half inch guns um, at the same battle rating. So less penetration, less boom, right? But I didn't really feel like the dispersion pattern overall was better or worse, but there were just more shells, but significantly more of those shells actually hit. And I do not really know why. It might be the slightly higher muscle velocity, but it can't really make all that much difference with only 759 meters per second, right? Um, so it can't be it. And then I played the HMS Repulse again, and it felt like that I have the same dispersion pattern as with 10 shells, but of those 10 shells, the best four in the center that actually would hit and damage the target gets removed. And then you have the dispersion patterns of the HMS Repulse. I cannot stress out how much this is so frustrating and so bad. Now in this example that you're watching for a couple of minutes, yes, I joined uh, a, um, a servo here and there. We both are playing with our speed. But you see me very often straddling the target. You see me very often hitting the target, but causing no damage. And that's all down to the fact that I just don't hit him properly where it hurts. And that hurts me much more than him, quite literally. And so I think it's a perfect example to observe what's wrong with the ship, in my opinion. And, you know, um, you can observe this, that more guns of the same just make an exponentially greater impact and this is why i say that this ship even at 6.3 wouldn't make all that much better of an impression and uh still the worst experience was so far the hms glorious with only four of those guns at 6.0 if you then get damaged or you have to switch sides or your back turret takes like two minutes to rotate um and your dpm is even lower just 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 go home I, I just bail out because it's lifetime that I never get back. It's pure frustration. I hate it. I hate it so much. I cannot say how much I actually hate it. And I already had health-wise quite a bad weekend. So, 
yeah, with the HMS Hood, I already had my issues. The same goes with Japan, you know, where I don't really have the best of experience with the Congos with eight 14 inch guns. And then you go to the, uh, to the Huga Ise Fuso, which have 12 guns, and you just do so much more damage. It's partially down to probably the dispersion. Uh, and also therefore the higher DPM uh, to also knock out more of the enemy's uh, systems so you know the damage mechanics but I feel like every additional shell just is so much better same with the IGN Mutsu it's really good but the IGN Amagi with just two guns more from 8 to 10 is just an absolute monster so there we are I the experience in the HMS Repulse was quite repulsive if that's the correct uh, English term I don't know what to say I really don't know I'm so glad that I'm done with the video and I hope you forgive me for making this video that's it for me today so thanks for watching thanks for listening and we'll see each other on the waves in the skies and on the battlefields of War Thunder